Hey everyone, it's Nora here and welcome back to another fabulous video. So today I'm going to show you guys how I make a tea bath and why I do tea baths. So traditionally we do bubble baths and we use um, chemically or chemical laden soaps or bubble baths and um, when you know better you do better. The skin is the largest organ in the body and so we want to make sure that we are nourishing the body um, from the outside in and that means if we're eating well we're also putting onto the skin uh things that are helpful and not harmful to the body because whatever goes onto the skin is then absorbed into the bloodstream um and think things like chemicals is just an extra detoxification load on the body and the system so we can try and avoid that if we can but specifically for today's video and why we're doing a tea bath um i used to have uh, loads of different types of herbal loose leaf teas which I would put into glass jars and then forget um, <laughs> what they were or that I had them um, and because I buy really good quality teas I didn't want to throw them away so I then just put everything into uh, a cheesecloth um, and then tie that up and then put it into the bath and I would soak in it and my skin depending on um, which concoctions I had which I didn't remember I just had different batches made up my skin would be so smooth afterwards or I would feel so relaxed or I would feel so detoxed so you feel the benefits of the teas as you are soaking because again the body and the skin is soaking that up so we are taking it up another level or two or three this week with training and your body will experience some pain as the muscle tissues are broken down and repaired um, and then you'll experience DOM so delayed onset of muscle soreness um, because we'll be doing more plyometric type based exercises so You'll be in pain, and so in order to keep you rest as rested and as um, supple and as pain free as possible, tea baths. So what we will do is um, look at using uh, ingredients that are anti-inflammatory, that are soothing to the joints and the muscles, that are calming to the system as well. Because when you take this bath, this is also your you time, your time to rest, relax, and recover. So I already put tea bags in the bath, but I'm going to show you um, what I do. I use organic green tea bags for the purpose of what I'm looking to do, which is to relax and restore the body and to make sure that the ingredients are anti-inflammatory. Um, so this is green tea and rooibos, R-O-O-I-B-O-S. I don't know how to say that word. Um, and my other tea bags are just plain green tea, organic, of course. And I'm just going to put that into the, um, into the bath. So my water was clear and beautifully blue but now it's going to be green. Um, don't put in one or two. Don't, don't use the tea bag sparingly because you know that your body is soaking this up. So you want to make sure you're getting your bath infused. It's a tea bath. Now I'm going to use my um, salts. So from the bottom up, I have Himalayan pink salt, magnesium flakes, and then I have Epsom salts. And then you can add in bicarbonate of soda or baking soda. So these are all detoxing um they're all relaxing and they're all quite soothing to the body so i'm just going to take about let's say three handfuls in there i'll just run that along the course of the bath all right and i'm going to just give that a good stir so i want all of the flakes to dissolve nicely in here Okay, and then just let my tea bags run in, let that seep for a while. And then I'm going to add in some tea tree oil, okay, tea tree essential oil. You could also add in things like clove, lavender, let me add in a couple more, three, four, five. Clove, lavender, peppermint, rosewood is quite nice. Um, maybe a couple of leaves of, a couple of drops of whole leaf. And those are all quite soothing on the muscles and the joints and the nervous system as well. So when you're having the bath, you're thinking this is your time to just be and to allow the body to relax and de-stress after a hard training load. So if you like bubbles in your bath, this is um, something that I found a couple of weeks ago in Weight Pros and I was like, ooh, this looks kind of good. So it's Dr. Salt and it has Arnica, black pepper and magnesium in there. And you can add this as a bubble bath or you can add it as um, like a shower gel. Um, I use it as a shower gel. I don't like to soak in stuff except if it's you know pure and clean like that. So that's the bubble bath right there. Now, 
If you wanted to make your bath more luxurious, I'd recommend adding um, argan oil or jojoba oil or sweet almond oil to your bath. I'd also recommend checking that you don't have any skin sensitivities to anything that you're putting in here um, or any allergies to any of the ingredients. And as you're soaking in your tub, you want to soak for between 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and then as you come out, rinse your skin um, so you get the essential oils and everything off of your skin. And then as you are coming out of the bath and you dry off and you change into pajamas or something comfortable, that's your time to go into your stretching. Your muscles are pliable and soft and warm now. So go into about five to 10 minutes of stretching, add in your deep breathing exercises, calm your nervous system down, get yourself ready for a nice night of sleep so that your body goes into a restorative mode whereby it's able to repair the muscles and get you ready for another day of training. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that video. I'd love to see some um, pictures of your own tea baths and what you know concoctions you guys have come up with and feedback on if you've enjoyed the tea baths. I personally love them. It's my time to just relax and be in the bath. So hope you've enjoyed that and I will talk to you soon.